Hey everybody, tonight I'm going to show you my really simple method for hooking up electricity on your rust base so that you can have automated turrets, uh, your sentry guns basically. And I've seen a lot of videos where they tried to explain how to do it. I found it to be so complicated. This XB switch to that route connecting this to the power to the doohickey thing. Oh, my God. It was so complicated. I didn't even want to touch electricity and rust. Just give me a torch. I can look around in my house that way. Who needs light? But anyways, I found this, this website, rustrition.io. Rustrition is a sandbox that lets you experiment with all the electrical gadgets and stuff without having to spend your hard-earned loot on it or get killed while you're doing it or something like that. Uh, it's a really, really, really great website, and you should definitely check it out. And I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't make any money with them. So, all right, let's get right down to this. I'm going to try to make it really simple. We need to get four solar panels out here. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. Uh, now we need to have batteries that we can plug them into. Real simple. I'm just going to grab, just going to grab three of these uh, really big batteries right there. And as you'll notice, uh, these solar panels, they've got a port for a wire out. So sun hits that, electricity comes out of the wire that's there, and there's one port out on each solar panel. Now each of these batteries, they've got a, a, a they've got a wire in and a wire out. So we need to get this root connector right here. This has got two ports in, one port out. So we're going to take a wire from the solar panel, plug it into the there. Another wire from the other solar panel, plug it into there. Now we've got two in, and we've got one wire that can come out. We've got two more solar panels. Let's get another root box. We'll uh, plug that one into there and plug this one into there. Now we've taken uh, four solar panels, and we've turned them basically into two wires out. So let's get another root connector. We'll plug this one. Uh, into there. We'll plug this one into there. And now we've got one wire that we can plug into our batteries, and our batteries have a pass-through. A pass-through basically means an in, in, and out. So we're going to take this wire, we're going to plug it to the in of that battery, the out of that battery into the in of that battery, the out of this battery into the in of this battery, and now we've got four solar panels that end basically with one uh, battery out right over there. So now we're going to do the turrets first. Before we do the turrets, um, no, actually, let's let's do the turrets. Three and four. Okay, so now we've got four turrets, but we've only got one wire that can come out to each of those turrets. If you notice. And don't worry about those other little ports on the other side of the, the torts over there. I'll explain them on another video some other time. Just ignore them now. So we need to split. Let's get a splitter. This splitter has one in, and it turns into three out. We've got four turrets, so therefore we need at least two switches. So we've got now six out and two in. So uh, we also need a button. Oh my God, why complicate it? Why do we need a button? Well, here's why you need a button. You cannot open up your turrets to change the ammunition or put guns in or anything like that unless you can turn off the power. If they're live, then you can't do it. So we're going to have this wire go from this battery up to that power switch. From the power switch, we're going to go up here into the splitter. From the splitter, we're going to go all the way up here over and into the next splitter. So now we've got five ports out. This means that we could plug five things in. So first thing is we're going to plug in that sentry gun, this sentry gun, and that sentry gun, and then finally this last sentry gun. We're going to plug that one in, and look at that. Let's turn it on. Everything has power. All the sentry guns have power. The batteries, look at that battery. It's already at seven and a half minutes that it's going to, that's, uh, of juice in it, saved up in it. Uh, so, yeah, these, these four solar panels are easily enough to charge the batteries and keep your sentry guns going. We've got this extra port over here, right? So let's say maybe we wanted to put a light here. Uh, this is an alarm and a light. So you pull that down, plug it into the thing. Now when you turn on your switch, the light's going to come on to let everybody know, be careful, there's sentry guns in the area. So if you don't want to be a total dick and you want people to see that, that's how to do it. So there you go. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a little bit of a video at the very end of this just showing you a real-life example of what I did because I did this in the game now. And the only difference is, is that I added two windmills because I noticed there was a lot of shade on my roof from some trees. 
So let's check that out right now. Okay, here we are. We're up on top of my roof. It's not really the top. It's the secondary roof that I've got. Um, and I know my wires are crazy. You actually could put them stuck on the walls and the floors to make it look nicer, but I just wanted to do it. Let's turn them on, and there we go. Look at that. I've actually got five turrets up here. I've got three over on this side. I've got two on the other side. Uh, some of them have closer range uh, guns, right? And some of them have very long distance sniper rifles like this L96 rifle and about 90 or, or so bullets in there. So look at that range. Look at that's 1,000. It's over 1,000 yards that they can shoot people. So, yeah, we're talking about some serious uh, distance, right? I did not even know there was a house over there. People are starting to build next to me now. Um, but look at how far away you can look at this. You can actually see further with this scope, 16 scope, than I think you can with the binoculars, to be honest. Uh, there's the junkyard over there. I wonder if... Let me see some... Yep, there it is. So that's the gas station right there. And... There, there's the loot box up there. And people, they come in and out of that door right there to, to use the recycler. I wonder if I could set up one of these sentry guns right here, or these tourists right here, aiming at that. Then I could go over there and I could recycle in, in peace. And uh, if somebody comes at the door or if I get shot outside the door and they come over to loot me, bam, then they're going to get shot. Okay, so what you came to see, though, was my electronics. So let's check it out. If we go upstairs here. I've got a couple of windmills. I got four solar panels, and that's powering everything. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. The the uh, the windmills you can buy them from the bandits, right? Just go into the swamp, find the bandits, and one of their stores they sell them. The solar panels you can buy them in the uh, the outpost, which is just right next door over there. So where am I storing all my electricity? Let's go find out. Look at that. I got two medium batteries and I got two large batteries. So I've got four batteries down there. And uh, I've also got an extra button down here because that way if I need to shut off my guns uh, without going outside, I can do that too. Okay, well, in the description, um, I'll, have the, uh, I'll have the complete component list and then also uh, what the crafting cost is. Um, I'll even throw a link in there to an actual uh, image of the schematic that, that, that you just watched me make. Um, but here's the rundown. It's four solar panels, three large rechargeable batteries, three root combiners, two splitters, one switch, one siren light thing. If you want that, four turrets. Now, obviously, if you have less turrets, then you can have less of everything, less switches, less splitters, less less other stuff like that. Um, if you were to craft all these things yourself, if you had the blueprints for them, all together for the things you saw me make, it would be 335 high quality metal, four targeting computers, and four CCTV cameras. And then you can make you can make all that stuff, not including of course the guns and ammunition that you're gonna put in there. But all right, well, check down in the, uh, the description for the extra info. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I, I certainly appreciate it. And I'm a real noob, so if you've got some ideas how I could have done this better, I'd love to hear them.